Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 30th of August 2020 and the reading is dedicated to the sign of Taurus. With that being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're comfortable with and leave the rest aside. If however you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com. Also, if you look into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the necessary information in order to contact me. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy my messages, you enjoy my videos, please do take a brief second to click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself. And on that note, I do thank you so very much and let's begin this reading. Now what we want to know here is, um, will they leave their partner for you? That being said, this is a third party relationship. You are the third person who has added themselves in and you really wanna know, is it true? Are they gonna leave their partner for you? So uh, I'm using Alice in Wonderland here. Let's flip these cards over and try and get your answer. Sometimes we get a clear yes, sometimes a clear no, and sometimes unfortunately it's a maybe that it's not quite clear. All right, so, okay. Um, you're going to be angry. So I have here the Three of Pentacles. Now the Three of Pentacles here is really, what I can see is going on here is there's work being done, okay? There's work, there's a certain collaboration. I feel as though there's things that have been said. I feel like actually you're being fed some illusions is what really is what's going on and you're just dreaming and you're making dreams because this is really about working together, okay? It's working together, it's trying to advance things together, it's progress, it's moving forward, okay? So this is what you're being told. So it's making the illusion that yes, everything is good and we're moving forward and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and at some point, I will leave my partner and, you know, be kids or no kids, it doesn't really matter. They're going to leave their partner at some point. It's just for some reason, they're telling you that they're not able to right now. But keep on working, keep on working on this and they keep kind of, you know, feeding you some, um, some positive, let's say some positive reinforcement, let's put it that way. Um, but that being said, here we go with, um, you know, I feel as though you know, you know that this is not true. You know that they're not going to leave their partner. Um, this is really about hiding. It's facing your fears. This is um, hiding into that little teapot. If we look really closely, we can see that that little mouse there is not sleeping. No, who sleeps with their little feet on the side like that? Okay, this mouse is not sleeping. This mouse is faking it. Why? Because the mouse is just simply looking around. It's trying to kind of sneaky in a kind of sneaky little way. Just kind of, you know, looking around, trying to see what could happen, what we could do, trying to look at our possibilities. But that being said, you need to get out of this teapot. You need to face your fears. If you do not face your fears, um, this you're gonna, you're gonna continue being fed some lies over here, okay? So you really have two choices. You can keep on and, you know, stay into this teapot and hide whatever your intuition is trying to tell you, or you can escape, you can get out of the teapot and you can face, um, you can face your, your darkest and deeper fears, which is losing uh, this partner. But I think it's very quite necessary because if it is going to end, this cannot continue forever. So why stay in this teapot forever? You need to, you know, gain your courage. I know how difficult it is. I know that's very, very difficult, but I know also that you can do it. And I know that you deserve better if this is not going to work out. So please do get out of that teapot. Um, I have over here the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is, again, you. Here you are. You're not able to get to those cups up there. Those cups are every single thing that you want. It's everything. May it be a house. May it be a stable relationship with this partner. May It's everything. Whatever you can think of, that's on that table up there. And look at your hand. You are unable to get it. doesn't matter how hard you try. You're not getting there. This is really about the card of effort. It doesn't matter how much effort you put into something at some point, if it's just not meant to be, it is just not meant to be, it is not going to be happening. And this is what this card is trying to tell you. I know you're putting a lot of effort. I know you put a lot of time. I know you're emotionally, you know, implicated a lot, but this card is really trying to say that this is just not going to be obtainable. And I do have at here, the queen of swords at the very end. And here you are, you know, me, maybe a he or she, you're very upset. You're not happy whatsoever. Um, this partner is not going to be leaving their um their original partner their um their couple 
Um, they, I don't even think that they ever really had any intentions of it. I think they just want to continue going like this. But since you're keep, you're you're pushing and becoming more insistent, they really just have no choice but to end this relationship before it goes too far. And you were not expecting this. You did not want this. Well, you you had a little bit of a news over here, okay, with the intuition you were thinking about it, but you never thought about like this. But that being said, I do unfortunately have to say that over here you're really angry. This is not working out. They're going to end up um, leaving the relationship with you to stay with their um, partner number one um, so that being said um, this does conclude this reading I do wish you much courage much strength uh, if you would like to have a personal reading so a reading that is all about you because do remember this is a general reading and um, if you'd like to have your own reading please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and um, please don't forget to subscribe stay tuned for the following readings um, and stay strong you can get through this have a great day and thank you for being there